Hello friends, welcome to VBM Data Analytica YouTube channel. Today we are going to see how to calculate Kronberg Alpha manually by using Microsoft Excel. The Kronberg Alpha is developed by American psychologist Lee Kronberger in 1951. It is used to find out the internal consistency of consistency of various attributes. The question our setup is in Likert scale or five point scale. It is used to find out the reliability of the data and it measures latent variables. Latent is nothing but it is a qualitative aspect. In a research quantitative data can be accessed as a numbers and figures and qualitative aspect cannot be measured directly so the qualitative in the sense the things which can be expressed but cannot be quantified easily so the Likert scale is used to find out if Kronbach alpha is high the correlation also high to have high alpha the question should be related to one another sometimes the Kronberg alpha may be very low. In that case, we have to add relevant items related to the particular factor. The question should be either positive or negative altogether. The formula is given. Let us apply later. Let us see what are the steps involved in Microsoft Excel to find out the Kronbach Alpha. Before going to the step, let us see the practical example of the work life balance of bank employees. It is a questionnaire designed to find out work life balance of bank employees in a district. There are three profile variables. Besides, there are three factors taken related to work life balance. That is, one first factor is adequate compensation, which has four attributes. These four attributes are coded, and adequate compensation is coded as a AC and AC1, AC2, AC3, and AC4. And it is measured with the help of Likert scale that is, strongly agree, agree, neutral, disagree, and strongly disagree. The second factor is safe working condition that is coded as SWC. This factor has five attributes which are coded as SWC 1, 2, 3 and up to 5. That is also measured with the help of 5 point. If respondents is strongly agree, he has to give the 5 points. If he is strongly disagree, it is goes to other extreme of 1. And third factor, stress and work life. This factor is coded as SWL. It has 5 attributes which are coded as SWL1 through SWL5. The total 14 attributes grouped into 3 factors. And uh, this question was, was distributed to 150 employees and collected their data and entered into MS Excel. Now we have 150 employees data. This is employee numbers up to 150 employees. Let us go to what are the steps involved to find out the Kronbach Alpha manually. The first step we have to group the data by factor. That is already done by AC1, AC2, AC3 and AC4. 
second find group wise total now we are going to see ac total ac underscore dot Okay, here we have to sum up hum use function equal to sum and select a range we get 30 if you double click here you will get the values for entire sheets up to last respondent similarly we are going to do the total for safety working condition equal to sum open parenthesis to add only five variable enter double click it will take up to the last yes w l underscore dot equal to sum open Parenthesis and select a range of five variables. Enter and double click. Now we get the total for all group data that is factor. The second step is to calculate variance for all columns including group total. Now we have to find variance. equal to war open parenthesis and select the range of 150 respondents 150 employees of a particular attribute enter we get this value when we track this value up to this end of the data we will get the variance of every columns this is group data this is group this is group variance and we go to next step or variance of all items in a group excluding variance for group total data so here the variance should be added equal to this is sigma variance of items i for items sum open parenthesis these four values similarly for the factor safety working condition sum open For third factor, sum of items in stress and then work line. And the next step, count number of items in a group. For the first factor, how many how many items are there? Equal to put count function open bracket and you take the last row of only items that is 4 here count of safety working condition 5 and for other factor count and working work life and five factor let us go to last one apply formula to find alpha what is the formula 
already we have skipped this area alpha equal to k <coughs> divided by k minus 1 here hmm. we will find before that we will pick the variance of total this one variance of safe and working condition the variance the total variance of stress and work life let us apply alpha for adequate compensation equal to as per this formula we have to go by this area k minus k divided by k minus 1 formula into open parenthesis 1 minus another parenthesis sigma item variance divided by total variance here item variance divided by total variance when you press you will get 0 0.850 is a alpha see it is already applied in formula so we copy this formula and paste in corresponding cell we will get the value of every alpha for every factor now we get Kronbach alpha for adequate compensation is 0 0.85 for safety and working condition alpha value is 0 0.859 and alpha for stress and work life is 0 0.820 now we got all three for factor AC, WC and this one. Let us go to what is the thumb rule for having this alpha. When we check this is thumb rule of thumb for results from multiple category questions. Here if we have more than 0.8 and less than 0.9 it is good now we check all Kronbach alpha are greater than 0 0.8 now we have to verify this Kronbach alpha calculation is correct or wrong let us take the same data into the SPSS SPSS already coded as AC1, AC2, AC4 and uh, SWC125, SWL125 already coded and the data has been entered. Now we go to find out one by one whether this reliability test is correct or wrong. So go to analyze, select scale, reliability analysis and select the factor attributes for adequate compensation only four so click you will get 0 0.850 this is the value we got for adequate compensation and let us go for next one that is scale and reliability this group variables move to existing area and then I transfer next vector attributes I click 0 0.859 0 0.859 and for third factor
zero point eight two zero eight two zero. Now, from this calculation, we have understood that the manual calculation is very easier than SPSS. Sometimes we used to find out Cronbach Alpha through SPSS only, but when we calculate manually, we are perceiving intuitively how the calculation is going on. If you like this video, like and share. Thank you. I will meet you in other videos. Good luck.